Hello friends, welcome to the next session on OpenStack configuration installation and configuration using shell scripting. I am working on compute node now and on compute node also we have the same configuration as you have watched in my previous lecture on the controller node. Take a look config directory. Inside the config what we have is uh, more importantly this uh, config compute and uh, what else we need etc host multi this host multi will be used to configure the etc host file then we will use this controller cluster script this is the sequence of cluster open stacks let's take a look at all the files one by one config compute so what we have here is the ip address the first ip address is management ip second ip address is the external ip third is the dhcp as i demonstrated in OpenStack, you will see the release is Z, the 0S image, the management IP network and the provider network that is external network. All these things you can see here. So in the scripts, what else we have? The credentials file will have all the users and databases. This is same. I have already explained this. So we'll go to the config file, no, sorry, scripts. And here we have the file. Pre-download etc host. So let's set up the etc host first. We need to take a look at the host.multi file first. So vi config host.multi. Yes, I are listed in this file. So let's run this file slash etc slash hosts. Now etc host file is configured. We can ping now. Ping compute. Yes. Ping controller. Yes. Let's pass the key. SSH hyphen copy ID controller. Yes and the key is already there that's fine but at least now we can verify ssh controller perfect we are able to connect same thing we will do for root user also sudo hyphen i now ssh hyphen copy id controller compute and controller both controller yes so perfect ssh controller yes we are able to connect as root user also as stack user also so we can exit from here the connectivity part with ssh key is done because this will be done by my scripts next was pre download we'll download the 0s image for verification for testing though we don't need on this machine let's check do we have that img on the root directory no so we need to make it img because this is the the directory which will be used by this script pre-download so let's run this script now pre-download the 0s image is copied properly to the right folder let's go to the ubuntu main directory for our rest of the work all the scripts are set up in order first it will initialize second it will upgrade it will install openstack cloud third it will set up nova so let's start with the script execution first script one which will just initialize this will initialize the repositories it will set up the repositories and uh, repositories are wallaby and z to release we are considering so let's set up uh, this re initial repositories first simply executing the script to set up the repositories for openstack z the initializer uh, repositories are initialized we are going to run the upgrade this script is installing python openstack client upgrading it and dist upgrade and uh, removing unwanted package and cleaning up quite straightforward job creation of the package is going on on the compute node let's configure private and public network on the controller node you have these uh, files config private network public network so first you should configure public network so config public network you can check that uh, on the dashboard also the script will create the public network on the machine controller so i'm logging in as admin user right now if you go to network and networks there's nothing if you log in as admin user also networks and routers nothing is there so this script will create public network for you and it will use the anp 0 s8 the external network this is the cider block being used so and this is what is specified enp0 s8 is used now let's configure private network also config private network so this will set up a private network and if you verify you will see the public network 
as the private network is being created so private network is already up provider network public network is already created and this is up right now a router also this uh, will also create a router you can see the router is, is active right now uh, external network is not uh, attached yet it will be attached and we can see that network here also networks and network topology and this is the provider network so these this is the being done by the script which is executing right now so it is done so what we have done is we have configured private and public network and we can verify the same thing here under again under network you can see that networks and you see the public network private network external yes status active and availability zone where they are available so both the networks are created so do one more step here the step is passing the ssh key from controller to compute node ssh hyphen copy id compute yes this is done perfect and we should do the same thing for root user also ssh hyphen copy id i'm just verifying the thing if it is not done so it's not taking the password probably password is wrong so let me check the permission and password on the compute node installation is complete after four attempts let's set up the, set up the password for root user pass wd perfect now i can exit from here and i can continue my key passing from the controller node to the compute node oh it was already closed no problem done ssh compute i should be able to log in super i've done it so on the controller uh, i'm able to connect using ssh as root user as well as as uh, stack user which is mandatory for my scripts so let's go to the compute node and the first script main work which we have to do here is set up noah on the compute node so script number three let's see script number three set up nova this uh, script is as usual installing open client which is already installed however this is not installed nova common nova compute and nova compute chemo so let's install these packages package is complete and we executed strip, script number three so let's look at script number four this will set up the nova compute on this compute node so placement configuration file uh, this is no admin user management ip address 10.10.0.31 and uh, the keystone configuration uh, this section default section vnc section glance section oslo concurrency section placement section all these actions service user service details and uh, changing the permission of uh, noa uh, where live noa directory to be owned by noa user and after that it will verify the permissions and verify the service let's execute the script number four setting up nova compute on the compute node so nova compute on controller it is enabled and uh, nova compute on controller it is verifying that where it is available and now it is setting up on the compute node as well and now you can see it is available on the compute node as well perfect executed nova compute one nova compute two so what we have done in this session initializing the repository or installing openstack client and upgrading the packages setting up etc host file enabling key based authentication and installing nova compute on the compute node we can verify the same service let's verify and you will see nova compute is available two hypervisors are available compute hypervisors and now you see compute and controller both hypervisors are enabled so you can see that compute host we have two compute hosts uh, controller and compute both up all right that's all for this session thank you very much for watching